Right, so we are live. Let's see what's going on here. Mm, got to play some Pokemon today. Got to test. I'm getting so excited about the new stuff, I forgot that I still have tournaments with this format in. And after doing poorly recently, I really need to do well in Lille. Otherwise, my season is donezo again. So, hopefully... This is all working, and we can play some games today. I'm going to quickly adapt some things here, because I haven't touched PTCGO in a little while. Because I've been so focused on the new stuff. That looks pretty reasonable, though. Don't think I... Uh, I might try the Shaman today over the Delmos. Ah, Jack, sorry, my bad. Let me uh let me get Skype open. Okay. Hello. Bye. There we go. You alright? Um yeah, where are we? I'm in the same room, I've just changed my desk. Oh. New new computer or still old? It's the new computer arrived today, but I need to get some new cables for it to work with my screens. Ah. So yes. My new PC is literally there. Sweet. But uh I, I started learning how to build mine today. It's great. Yeah. Good. Big old puzzle. Mini basically, maths, how's it going? basically, if you if you ever touch anything while you're ever so slightly static, you just break everything. Oh. So, I've got to wear rubber shoes, wooden gloves. <laughs> New PC hype. Yeah, hopefully it'll be less laggy rubbish. Um. I haven't actually ordered the cables yet. I have to do that at the end of the night. Remind me, chat. I need to get um, cables that have HDMI to go into the computer, but then either have a... <laughs> What's the answer here? VGA or DVI conversion, uh, conversion for the screens themselves. Excellent. Yes, yes. Should be easy enough. Should be. Um, and again, it is you. I have I have the paperwork with me, so I won't be I won't be able to make mistakes, right? Don't ever say that. <laughs> they sent me a manual. Yeah, <laughs> I was lucky. Oh, pop champ. We don't need Palkia in this matchup. We do, however. Need a little whooper. Oh no, we prize Vault Prism. Oh well. We'll just try and detonate him over time. Mmm, juicy. That is a juicy hand right there. We got the juice cooking. We can kill this early Zerua. Make life hard for him. Am I playing Manaphy and Kyogre? Because that's correct, right? Uh, no. I'm only playing Palkia at the moment. I may consider putting in Kyogre. Heavy Tortoise, welcome. What's happened to... Where, where's the Omni background gone? I thought I'd just change Make things up. Make it bigger. Up. Make it yeah, a bit bigger. There. Um, I was talking to a couple of friends and they were saying, that background really doesn't serve a purpose, does it? And I was like, huh. Mm. You know what? <laughs> it actually 
<laughs> doesn't. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. Other than I'm, advertising. I'm not going to argue it. Yeah. Makes sense. Um. Okay. Quaggins. Captain Guzma's here. But we can't use it this turn. Unless we top deck a Lapras. Ooh, an Ultra Ball. But we can't get rid of three Guzmas. That's just not right. Let's just wash it all out to the active. I feel like I do want to use Ice Beam here. I don't feel that threatened by his stuff. So that's Ice Beam. KO into KO. If we get the Volt Prism, it's absolutely nuts because we have Guzma in hand. If not, we can go for like Ultra Ball Lele, Kakui, and try and hit Choice yeah. Band off of Instruct plus Kakui. So let's see what the prize brings us. Oh, Nectar. It's a water energy. That's not a Choice Band or a Kakui. Or a Bulk. So we can Quagsire, and again, it's always worse than Lapras Palkia Quagsire. Is that worse? Less than, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, I agree. Is that worse? Quagsire and Naganadel are two stage one lines. And Suicune doesn't take one hit KOs. Lapras does. And you're only one but... stage one. Hmm. That's not for me to say that you won't play one Suicune in Lapras though, because Suicune is a very good card. But yeah. So basically, yeah, I've got a new desk. Hmm. And I've sort of flipped around so the fireplace is now like that direction you can't really see my hand that way and that's where the door is it's to your left or oh I... i'm okay. pointing i, I am pointing I get it. I so get it. I get where it. i used i used to face a wall that is now here okay to your left to my left yes stage left that there is a wall and okay. that's what i used to look at and now I don't look at that. But now aren't you looking at the different wall? No, I'm looking... You've been into oh, this room, looking, right? So I'm looking, looking like out into the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. see... I can just like see into the kitchen. Yeah, I see. Yes. Joe has an Excel spreadsheet looking whiteboard in the background. <laughs> um, I actually plan to use that whiteboard. Um... I will be putting a stream schedule on it when we have a proper stream schedule. That's the plan. And a content schedule and all that good stuff. So I intend to use this wall that you now see. <laughs> so strange to see me in a different room. It's the same room. How many Lapras ideas have been written on that whiteboard? Who knows? Who knows? Countless. Okay, this is dangerous territory. That's a soul well, eh, OGX? Yeah. Hold on. Not even a Suicune can tank that. <clears throat> Friday streams? Friday streams were only ever when new sets got released and Joe got boxes on the day. Um, I would imagine there'll probably be one when Lost Thunder comes out. Yeah, it's more when we have time for them, we will. Bonus streams. My Friday this week, I was doing the impact of um, Lost, Thunder. Lost Thunder instead. Please forgive me. Uh, what do we want to do here? We can just Blizzard Burn for 160 active. I think that's absolutely fine, to be honest. If we just develop energies this turn. Because if he's going to max potion, it means his attacks are all useless. Garbage. So, so we're just going to try and hit him this turn. Try and develop more stuff. Bitty more Guzmas does make, make me a little nervous, but... Um, I might also put another... No, putting another Lapras down is better than the Quagsire in this case, because you want to have something to move 
into the active, and if he's going to try and Guzma the Quagsire, I don't mind it too much, because we already have Lapras ready to go. With a Guzma in hand. So. Captain Guzma. Ripping Incredible. a nice Cynthia means we can keep developing here, and that's exactly what we want to happen. Zoro zone, if only. This is Zoro Galeo. Uh, keep this option open for Lele, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Smack. If he's playing stage two, he probably doesn't have the space for field blowers, I want to say. Pre-releases are on Saturday. Yeah, I'm not heading to any pre-releases. Are you, Jack? No, that's far too big. <laughs> true, true. Like, the, the chance of you pulling anything is so bad. So, so bad. Yeah. Been waiting all week for the pre-release. What are the promos again? I've forgotten. They're not Roku, big. Suicune, Giratina, and Fairy Lily. Okay. So you want Giratina exactly every time? Yes. The other three are genuinely awful. Okay. Well, good luck. The only other one we talked about was... Suicune. Burrito Boy, could I send you the Zoroark control list? Sure. Sure. I was thinking about, um... Like, Zoro control or Zoro counters today. This is the first time I've thought about Pokemon since Frankfurt. Mm-hmm. And it sounds really good. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, it sounds like Malamar's Chime Echo you can deal with if you're playing like a Latios. Fine. A Latios maybe a Deoxys. Same with Buzzrock if you're playing a Latios and a Deoxys, they can be enough of a beetle for you to hopefully be able to get to the point where you can do what they did with the Plumeria stuff and just run them out of energy. Other yeah. Zoro, you're a control deck, so you run them out of energy. Um, Vika Ray, you can play a Fairy Lele for, theoretically. It just sounds sounds good. And solid. Let's burn a switch. Hey, Jay doesn't just sub switch with Twitch Prime. Welcome. Let me move this to the little here. Jimmy Club. Thank you so much for the sub, my dude. Welcome to the little Jimmy Club. He's still here. I do need to protect little Jimmy as well, though, because my old desk used to have a drawer that I could hide Jimmy from the cats. Oh no! And now, oh no! <laughs> now I can't do that. Oh no! Yeah, on a scale of one to case, how many boxes? Yeah, uh, I think just two. I think the set is so large, I'll just sort of get myself commons, uncommons, and a few hollows, and fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps. Maybe Arrogate. three at a push. I need to. I actually need to order some. Our gate's going to be my first tournament in December. Just hope the internet comes up north next year. At north. I'm pretty sure Internats has been... It might not have been confirmed for Berlin, but I'm pretty sure. That's the general consensus. Is there any new decks not enough time to test? I'm actually so glad we have no big... To like, obviously there's Internats, but I'm not going to any big tournaments to Harrogate, so that means I can let everyone else do my testing for a little while. <laughs> oh, generous. Great, guys. Cheers, everyone. I thought it was Thursday. Yikes. Was that a Palkia GX in the discard? Yeah, it's a tech card to improve your Buzzrock and Vika Ray. Because if they be string the bench and smack you up, you want to see you later, mate. Smack them back and take them off B strings. Take man. them off <laughs> their B strings. <laughs> and similar for Vika Ray. If you can deal with their Vika Vault, or if you can. Uh, um, just take a knockout on a ray whilst getting rid of the other energies on the ray you should be safe okay, okay and out of goose is a little annoying 
I've got to figure out my way here, because he goes down to two. And if we don't take a knockout this turn, he can just go Guzma into Guzma, the guaranteed game. So ideally, what's the best way we can get around this? We need to... Ooh, this is going to be rough. Especially with our hand. We can't draw a lot with the monkey to try and get into a good spot here. This is going to be rough. Acrobike helps. Let's brook out the bulk first. That could give us a sneaky way to get like a gust knockout. Uh, Lele is definitely the take here. Actually, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it has to be the Lele. I was thinking, oh, I can ultra ball for the Lele, but we'll be bidding it with Acrobike, so we can't do that. Uh, we'll do this. Yeah, okay. We'll do this. Use a Guzma. Use Volk Prison to KO the Zerua. And that puts him in a weird spot where we can set ourselves up for a... Um, win a dig for choice band knockout and we haven't had any choice bands this game so that's not bad what's the worst that could happen we do have one monkey draw too I think we're only really scared of at this point um We're only really scared of... To be honest, him gizmering the Quagsar isn't very good for us. Unless we get our one-off prizes. He may be enticed to Guzman the Monkey, though. It is an enticing offer. Little do you know, you've got a lily sitting in your hand. Yes. Burrito boy, after this game, I'll take a quick look at the list. So, like everyone has been playing cheeky items to take advantage of field blower, how can people have me any more blower back into this account of this? Space, more than anything, like the format it, or the the supporters in the format are worse, so you have to play more of them and you have to play more sort of. More of the cards you need, more balls, more Pokemon recovery, that kind of thing. Just because, in general, there there is a lower quality of cards, so Field Blower is just the usually the most um, what's the word? It it was the, it was the least valuable card probably in general, just mm. because it, it was only good sometimes. Whereas every game you want Nest Balls and Ultra Balls and supporters oh. and Stretcher. Okay, so he's just trying to set up for Radiant Star. Radiant Star and set up Guzma for game next turn. It's actually really scary. I'd love him to remove our stadium. I'd love to see a field blower at this point. <laughs> We only have one Guzma left. We've hit nothing but Guzmas all game. What's new? Is this similar to the list from Memphis? Like, just with the two changes, taking out the Manaphy and the... No, I mean, it's more similar to our list if you look at it that way. Okay. <laughs> I've cut one Acrobike for one Palkia. Oh, and I'm playing three whoopers at the moment as a trial run. I cut the stretcher for a whooper, which is a little bit greedy. <gasps> oh, I'm so good at this game, man! Poggers. Wait, we still don't win, right? We need to hit choice band off of one draw. Mm, I was going to say, you're not quite good at this game yet. Hold on. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Everything's doing 14. Well, we've got one draw to win. We always lose if we don't do this, right? Let me make sure that we always lose. He has not played a Guzma. Therefore, we always lose if we don't get this. Good luck, us. Oh, is that old Toggle on the bench? Yeah. I see. Haven't played a single choice ban, just saying. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, rip. Okay. Damn. All right. Good old hey, Rangaroo for one. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? When would you, when learn, would you learn that it never ever hits? See, that's the thing, though, Mark. Our anger is Joe's best mate. Yeah. He's about 65% for me, getting my one out. This is an imposter. Didn't draw a choice when we need it. Different background. <laughs> oh, sorry, Burrito. Let me uh, let me have a look. Oh, you've done it in text. Come on. One Lele. Right, this needs more time. Hold on. I'll go first, right? Yeah. <gasps> uh, crumb diddly dumplings incredible <laughs> uh -oh, I've got cats exploring this new area so many wires back there cat please no on your way away with you Wait, you don't have any quag size, right? Hmm. How many stretcher do you play? You play, you play. Yeah, quag size, prized. Ah, huh. it's fine. I'm going first. <clears throat> Let's put that stretcher back in. Turns out I was always right about everything. Huh. That's good. Huh. Weird, isn't it? Is the American tournament this weekend? The expanded regionals? Yeah. Or the next weekend? It's this weekend coming up. Let me make sure. I think it is. No, it's the 27th. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that is, is it's next weekend, right? Yeah, yeah week on Saturday. There's a special going on in Chile this weekend that's standard. Oh, sweet. Two Rangaroo, one Dedene, one Cartana, one Tapu Coco. Rito, that's a really interesting uh, take on the list, gotta say. Oh no, he's got the Palkia down straight away. Um, okay. So as soon as we play Ultra Ball, he knows that we don't have Quagsire. So we don't really want to play Ultra Ball. I think we fake bad hand here. Attach Collect. And the issue, of course, is if he does have a reasonable hand. We're in Crumb Town, Arizona. Oh, God. 
So I might just hedge a little and do this. That's some good hedging. We'll take that. Yeah, Burrito Bot, I would advise checking out the uh, the list that Grant Manley played in Memphis. That list looked clean as a whistle to me. There's definitely a lot of different stuff going on in your build. But I've tested so little Zora Control. So all I'm doing is saying, uh, saying check out a list that's done well before. The mirrors who can get Palkia first. Yeah, I mean, I can't get Quagsire down, so he's probably going to use it first. That's the problem here. Joe, where am I? Same room, different angle. New desk. Looks like he has everything but energy cards right now. Pokemon requires more bluffing than poker. In this matchup, perhaps. Uh, he's done well again to keep things spooky. We need to, like, it's just a fact that we need to fish out our, our quag, though. So we just got to say, hey, you're dead. These lists never have blower. Cycle. Okay, the Quagsire and an EXP share hitting the bin is not bad for us, right? That is not Quagsire. New setup. Yeah, my new PC is right there, but I don't have the uh, don't have the right cables to put my screens in so i'm still using the old computer but everything else is sort of like mm. how i want it to be going forward there's still a nice little perch as you can see here uh, that my cats can sit on so you'll still, eat still your, see them eat the pc before it's built in yeah she's off Oh my god, please. Please let me Guzma kill his Palkia. Please. Uh. He's brushing us aside. He's moving us away. Poggers? This one, right? You don't have HDMI cables? Uh, the screens themselves don't have HDMI inputs, so I need to get a HDMI input into the computer, but a different one for the things themselves. Wait, so the TV the TV needs the other one, but the, well, the screen needs, needs the other one, but the computer needs HDMI? Yeah. That's really weird. The computer didn't come with a DVR VGA port? Huh. Thing. I didn't buy the PC with... Like, I'm still using my old screens. Yeah. So the PC doesn't have... Okay, interesting. It has a... It's weird. I'll show you this quick starter guide that I have right here. Because oh, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't believe it myself either, to be honest. And knowing me, it's probably wrong anyway. So, on step two here... Hold on. Here we go. This is incredible. On step two you'll notice that there's a big yellow circle that says 2A. And under the instructions it says, don't ever use 2A with this machine, use 2B. 
And oh. 2A has all the things with the things that my thing uses or oh. used to use. And well, it that's, says, that's not, that's don't not use that bit. It? Use the other bit, the little red wonder, circle here. Wonder, oh, interesting. Um, and I tried to put stuff in the bit where it says do not use, and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> they were telling the truth. It's incredible. So, yeah. Yeah, fair. That's that. By the way, we hit Quagsire, so we're just chilling now. I would say that. Yeah. VGA to HDMI is what he needs. VGA? VGA or DVI? Yeah, DVI. I need H DVI to HDMI. That's what I need. Tim, I don't think I've told you. I also bought a new PC the other day. Or yesterday. All the parts for it. Unreal. It's all kicking off. It's all coming together. Going up in the world. This. It's Todd Rootcliffe. Hey, Todd. How's life? Life's fine. Life is treating us all right. Let's thin cards that we don't need. Let's get the, the Palkia threat out there. Although the game's already over. He's only got one thing anyway. Just show him that we have it and then just cycle it right away. I don't want to put any XP share down because it gives him more reason to attack this. We don't want him to attack that, really. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway, we have Guzma. Die Insect. Try and come into my house, my Lapras house, and beat me? Hell no. Not with that Manaphy Kyogre nonsense. That ain't happening. Not on my watch. P.S. We're definitely putting a stretcher straight back in. <laughs> Why wasn't Joe's deck printed with other world's decks? <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing. That's one of the best ones. That's one of the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought of some creative stuff in my time, but <laughs> that might. Will I be commentating any upcoming tourneys? Not that I know of. So we'll have to wait on that one. Yep, see you later. What's my Slayer level? Uh, let me... Give me a sec. I'll tell you, like you probably don't need to, you may not be asking what my actual Slayer level is on RuneScape, but I'm gonna give you that in just as a real answer. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> hey, first. Oh, I forgot, my, I forgot my account name because my old account name. <laughs> Be careful what you say here, Joe. Yeah, I can't actually... Words. My old, my old account name got changed because it was... Um, or it got, like, vetoed because of what it said. So it was a clever way of doing an immature swear word by, like, splitting up the word with spaces and numbers. And now I can't remember my uh, my actual account name. Um... What is it called? Ah, let's try this. Got it. Okay, my Slayer level is 82. 82. But I haven't played in months. How come? Uh, I don't know. It's one of those games where you sort of fade in and out of it. Mm. 
I was just doing loads of my like objectives and things that I had to do to progress in the game were like really grindy, boring parts. Mm -hmm. So I was coming home and just getting like a million clicks in and leveling up like twice in like eight hours, and I was like, "Uh, only seven more to go." You know. Do they still like update the game at all? Yeah, 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 massively. It's called it's. 2007 Scape, but it's still like updating all the time. They have weekly polls for like new content that they're thinking of and bug fixes oh, really and all sorts. So it is. I think it's got to the point again where I would like to start from dot because there's so many new features to be honest. But is it like small, lots of small updates, or just like two or three big updates throughout the year? A bit of both. They've done some really huge changes. Like they opened up a whole new, um, a whole new island of content basically oh damn which is like the size of the current map like doubled basically oh really well not quite doubled but like it was i don't know maybe like a quarter of the map being added in with brand yeah. new content but then they're also doing like everything down to like now you can change the way you click and stuff like that <laughs> on certain Ooh. skills right so yeah it really does go into detail sometimes Okay. Uh, I didn't even know there was a new skill coming because I haven't been even keeping an eye on the game at all. Um, if you could let me know what it's about, I'll let you know what I think of it. So we don't need Kikui in this matchup. I think I'm just going double Ultra Ball for a big Lily. Sounds like our best move. Keep the quag. You put a stretcher in. Oh, I've got to make the change. Skill for crafting magic armor. Sure, that sounds fine. I can get on board with that. I'm slightly worried about the sort of buffs you could get to magic. Is it magic DPS increases or is it for the um is it for like more XP when you're doing stuff? Cuz both sound absolutely busted. <laughs> to be honest. It's so quiet. Do I need to bring my mic closer? I don't know. My setup's like completely changing, so I'm happy to make adjustments. Mm. I'm hoping we sound okay. I thought the levels looked relatively usual. Yeah. We need some tunes. Yeah, I mean, the reason we don't put music on is because we put it, this sort of stuff onto YouTube, but um, we're thinking of changing that soon. <laughs> and when I stream daily, it'll just be with music and none of it will go onto our channel. I was doing a very both interesting and boring thing today, which was looking at like a bunch of poker tubers, what their content is like. And basically no one other than Pablo puts up their stream content onto their YouTube. And even when Pablo does it, he's doing a deck review at the time, like every time. So I'm slightly worried that our streams are like diluting the content that we have on our channel. Um, so when I go to daily content, there'll be enough on the channel anyway to fill the sort of voids um, without the need for us putting streams up. Um, and it means that the streams can have music. So it should be a win-win. Used to the new skills from NMZ. 
Oh boy. How long have we been streaming? Two years as of literally this month. Two whole years. He probably shouldn't kill this Weeper, right? Oh, he can't kill the Weeper. He's only got 60. I understand. Oh, he can, because he hasn't attached. So I've been looking at chat this whole time. Any tips for a new streamer? I like listening to music. <laughs> um... I don't know, man. Just, uh... Some people get views for different reasons. If you want to be playing high-tier stuff, if that's your thing, you can jam it. If you want to play stuff like theme deck tournaments, even that gets views. So... Just, at the moment, there's so few people actually streaming at any one time that just picking a good time is good enough to get views. Stream what you enjoy as well. What the hell do I do here? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll nine, you'll never be able to please everyone that watches you. So stream what you enjoy. Prioritize like prioritize that because then you'll produce the best content. Six, eight. Don't stream to get views. Background features less cats. Yeah, we can't see less of the cats. That is one downside to the background, Joe. One's coming over. Come on, is it Pooper Sun or is it the Antisocial one. Pooper, but she's actually just come for the litter tray, not for me. Oh, harsh. You can see where I got confused. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Shadow Lab 2000, thanks so much for the host. Hey, cheers, bud. Less cats unsubbed on followed. When she's finished her business, yeah, look, she's looking over. She's coming over. She's jumped up. She's literally here to save the day. No, don't leave me. Come here. Yeah, you're mine. <laughs> Quick, the viewers need us. <laughs> you. <laughs> Stay here. Stay forever. Where is she? Here she is. Like, sub, follow. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yes, please do stay, cat. You're not really in the line limelight line right now. Damn it. I need to She's turned away. She's the camera shy today. And she's off. It's over. Rip views. <clears throat> Just like that, the viewers shoot up. <laughs> so this is more like a gas can with a shining Lugia than it is a spread variant, I guess. Gas can. I still love that name. Absolutely gas can. What was that card? Oh, uh, what we? Oh, the spread tech. Oh, poggers. We are in serious trouble. Have you played Wishy GX yet? It's amazing. Um, I tried it like the first week and I was really un like not sold on it. Team super underwhelming. Underwhelmed, yeah. Uh, wow, okay, we don't even have our last patch in deck. 27 cards, 40 XP shares. Eee. Do I lose now? He goes to three, we go to three, he goes to two, we go to one. Yeah, we lost. Yeah, there's no way we can win from here. 
No HP shares on the board, feels bad, man. Big old yikes. That's the good thing about the deck, is that it's so straightforward. You know when you've won or lost. Oh, I keep forgetting to do my stupid uh, stretcher swap. Water deck's getting a big consistency boost next format. Again, a nice new matchup in Blacephalon, but also some very awkward ones in Lost March and Sceptile and Alolan and Egg. Such an interesting format when you can scoop up five, four prizes. Rough draw from us. I want to use the Acrobike before the Ultra Ball, because we can get some Pokemon cards. Like this one. Choice man, very important. So let's do this. I always like drawing the most cards because we're a combo deck. Combo, combo, combo. Insta play card. Any energy, any Pokemon. Brooklyn Hill. Not one. Okay. Embarrassing. <coughs> Get our attachment in. We got an EXP share straight away. Uh, we might be using Volk Prism to deal with one of these at some point. Or we just keep... I mean, if we get the first swing in and we get to develop our EXP shares, we never lose. So we just do this. Simple times. Next turn, attach. Quag. We just need Aqua Patch. Yeah, sounds good. How hypey today for Joe? Wait, how hypey today, Joe, for Spreadsheet Day? Is it Spreadsheet Day? I didn't realize it was Spreadsheet Day. It's National Spreadsheet Day. <laughs> well, waiting for Football Manager 19. Man, I've sunk some hours into previous years for that. My goodness. Every day is Spreadsheet Day. Work the magic. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that I'm always on a... I was definitely on a spreadsheet for a long time today. Like I said, um, looking at our competitors in the YouTube world and what they're doing to be better than us. Oh, what's happened here then? Has he given up? Given up all hope? Because Quag is Lord. Big Aqua Patch. Poggers. Cutting acro bikes from this deck. Who are these people, honestly? Come on. Just use your noggins, boys. I mean, we're definitely playing against someone who's timed out, but even if he was timed in, he'd be out of here. Need to make more shocked faces in the thumbnails and I'll catch up quickly. Thumbnails is actually something that I did look at today. Oh, bonkers. And I need to ask Jack at how to do the thumbnails we currently do so I can mm -hmm. stop begging him to do them every day. <laughs> the, mm, the dip, the dip, mm, not the difficulty. Do you use Photoshop? I use Photoshop as the big thing. If you have, photo, like, if you can get Photoshop, then I can show you super easy, but... Yeah, that's the hurdle. That's the hurdle. But they take like they take me so they they should be so quick to do. Like my my plan for the future now is to basically just as soon as we get the English art, basically make just a ton of any 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 deck that theoretically we 
might do a video on. So theoretically, I just should have them all to hand by then. My goodness. Um, that's what I did for the well, the first time I was learning how to do them. Um, and like the Zora one took me literally two minutes. Yeah. It's just obviously I'm not always at my computer, but I should be able to always have a thumbnail to you by the night you or on the same day that you do the video theoretically. Mm. So hopefully, even if you want a stream of Jack teaching Joe this, I mean the other thing is I don't know whether I feel confident enough to teach you it yet because I'm still learning Photoshop myself. But I, it's relatively simple stuff. Yeah. Yeah, AKD, don't worry. It won't start becoming clickbait nonsense. It'll just hopefully look more professional. That's the idea. Do we do friend battles? We can. We've thought about doing it on this stream soon. Um, I was honestly hoping today would be like a sort of unveiling of new stuff. New PC stream. land. But unfortunately, my yeah, new cable. PC had other ideas. No, I don't like making clickbait thumbnails, so AKD. I want... My my mindset is simplicity with thumbnails because the video, the, the video does all of the information you need. I think our new ones are great. I think they're really, like, classy, but also direct. I think they're really good. Mark likes clickbaits. <laughs> Clicks guaranteed if Joe draws them. I mean, we could do a month of Joe drawing. People will have to click because they won't know what deck profile it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Classy and direct. <clears throat> Doesn't hate money. Twenty-four hour stream incoming. YouTube doesn't make money, Mark. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. Ah, uh, I mean, this pack has done nothing in the games that we've had so far, but I've only had like two games, so. Someone at my door. Huh? Playing music. I really want a fourth acro bike. I just can't see where it is. Keep simple, this deck wins games. I clickbaited the Zero Aura video. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's our defaults. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, was there battles in it as well? Whoops. Yeah, it's a deck analysis and battles. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Whoops. Uh, can we go down to two Lily? No, that's greedy. We've already just been drawing into hands of energy. Could go down to ten energy. I don't hate that. For a fourth acro bike, it's not a bad flip-flop. The two switches are both super dead and super important early game. I may try something where I just cut both switches, play one Articuno and one acro bike. What do we think about that? You theoretically have more outs because you have Ultra Balls and the one Articuno to jump into the active and get damaging. It's just that you're not getting a big one hit KO. Articuno does offer a different attack. Let's just try it. Let's trial it. We can see how bad it ends up. I just think Switch is like easily our worst performing card in the deck and always has been. I took out the switch rafts as soon as we added in the Palkia because that just doesn't make sense. But the switch is still just super underwhelming. Guzman's never a cut. Guzman's super important with this deck. Thought on the Skype battle. Yeah, we do do some of those when the new set's out. Don't worry, the new set will be coming soon and we'll be we'll be on it.
Sorry, I'm still here, but I'm typing a lot, so I keep muting myself just to... That's fine. I'm doing... I'm trying to get more Nuzlocke stuff sorted. Oh, yes. Never apologise for that. Anyone in the stream who's excited for a Nuzlocke video? I'll be one going up at midnight UK time. I think Rope would be better since I also have Vault Prism. If I have Vault Prism, I'd never need Rope, right? The idea is if I want that effect, I have the Vault for it, and if I want the Switch effect, I have the Switch effect. I saw the list that played Ropes and I just shook my head. I shook my head at a lot of elements of that list. Um, it doesn't make sense to play Vault Prism and Rope, because you just have more of the effect that does the same thing when you could have something that has two different effects and actually does stuff. Super Plus, to be fair, you, there's, you actually only use Vox effect once or twice per game because a lot of the time you can then just Guzma for the rest of the game, so you don't need that effect that much. No. I might play this in Leal, just for the fun of it. You would rather have effects that sort of that you could have multiple of, rather than just do the same thing, potentially, more often. It's better to have the option of variety. Um, we don't need to panic with an Ultra Ball here, I don't think. We could just even, we could even just Ultra Ball Monkey draw a card. Um, but we'll keep it, because we're just collecting at the end of this turn. Don't need to panic too much here. Now we're in a nice hand. Those are three pretty good cards. Pretty bailed out by the fact that he led Latios, to be honest. Oh man, if we get an Aqua Patch, we could have a juicy turn. Oh, he didn't evolve anything. Ooh, wow, that's slow from him. Very slow. The 60 is threatening on this guy. We drew Aqua Patch. Holy... So skilled at this game. Truly incredible. More waters in the bin. We played one aqua patch. Yeah, absolutely fine. Uh, I could play this first. Thinning all of our supporter cards. Quagums. Wave goodbye to your life. I mean, multi-switch is sad. If he multi-switch attaches and GXs, he has Brooklyn Hill to get Diancy out. I guess it's not worth me benching the Lapras anyway, though. Rip Cynthia. I mean, realistically, we, we know we have the monkey in deck. We have this one Cynthia now. As long as we retain energy, we don't actually need to draw cards other than Guzmas. <laughs> So we don't need Cynthia from now on. We still have lilies in our deck as well. Oh, Joe, I've just found a video that makes me sad. Oh, what's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, one no. of ours? An upcoming episode of a certain series of us. <laughs> what could that possibly be? No! <laughs> <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> oh, Tim. Oh, Tim. Welcome to the roller coaster. Okay, so this turn we want to... <sighs> okay, uh-oh, cat alert. Hello, cat. We want to... Hello, kitty. 
Kalacta is fine, actually, because we're still putting the counts on these Zeruas while he's drawing nothing. I don't think I want to get too out there with, uh... We're doing, like, funky... Guzma Shenans and paying retreats and stuff. When we only have one EXP share on the board, we should probably try and... Uh, develop energy cards this turn. So let's do it like this. Keeping Kikui's around is important, but not if we're spreading even more damage this turn. He'll have so many targets. We go down to four prizes. So I think we can just burn this for a couple draws. Alternative is to Ultra Ball get a Ranguru and instruct. That's also fine. Yeah, okay. Developing the monkey is fine. Uh, Palki is not the worst keep. Let's get rid of even more supporter cards. <laughs> We're just trying to cycle for, uh, whatchamacallums, EXP shares, because we're still lacking in that department greatly. There we go. There we go. Your face is embarrassing. <laughs> what, this during seems, during this the death? It's been so good. It, I'm not going to lie, it's been so, so good. I, I kind of deliberately haven't watched any of it since we started, because I want to watch it all one day, just oh like, my God. completely binge it. I watch it as soon as they're ready. It's amazing. Because I never, I like seeing your reactions, because obviously, you know, yeah. you're in the Hurt Locker. <laughs> <laughs> Main part. Oh, if I'm getting my new computer, actually, I need to really finish these videos before I do. Come on. I just send you more footage, don't I? I need to look at what I've got. Let me look at what I've got. Let's do a little, I can do a little plan of... I've got a pen on me. I should have a pen somewhere. <clears throat> so he's looking for... Oh, he has Kikui anyway. Okay. But he's looking for a basic. Or now stadium. What is it that he's watching? He's editing our uh, Nuzlocke episodes. Let's go rid of a Pokemon. So we don't have Choice Band, and we don't have Guzma. So am I ever, am I just promoting Quagsire here? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's all of our energies. But then we'll still have two XP shares on the board, more attachments this turn. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 180. Um, or do we just promote the Whooper for freedom of movement once we've used Lily? Oh, yeah. No reason not to bench this. 
We can still wash out to Quagsire to retreat if we hit Choice Band. Okay. Played it safe. And by safe, I mean Quagsire's going in. That enough of this. Field blow is a very scary time. But... Wait, can I do this differently? No, 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 no. This is the same damage, but I'd have to retreat. Die insect. And choice band has been super elusive this uh, today. We're back down to 11 cards again. That game we lost, it was in not in our top 14 cards. We played three. And now we're down to 11 cards and we haven't seen it? Don't exist. You're not all there. Unpunishable. Punishable by exactly field blower. That's it. Hmm. Judge isn't the worst outcome. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <ew. laughs> okay, how many, uh, okay, we've been through two Aqua Patch. Okay. Oh, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get all these videos done before. Hmm. Okay. That was so satisfying. Hmm. I think I might just hard pull out the Articuno. I don't want to draw it. The only thing we want to draw instead is a stretcher for our... Whoops. But... Look at that, look at that deck. Three choice band, two aqua batch. Absolutely embarrassing. Seriously? Are you serious right now? Am I going for a Cold Crush GX here? Obviously a yes. Damn, we had a long break. I need to manually attach this turn, right? To win. Oh my god, I forgot that I'd take energy off myself. I can't attack this turn with this. Nah, it's fine, we'll just sit active. We should've just collected. I got over-enthusiastic with Articuno, thought it was more busted than it was. I forgot that we have to remove from ourselves. That's really bad. <laughs> I think we are in a spot if he kills Quag, but 
at the same time, if we can draw into our stretcher anyway, we'll have time to either attach to Lapras or to um, rebuild Quag. That was really poor though. We could have collected and like been super close to game. Too excited to use the sparkly new card that I added in for a switch, which would have been super useful that time we had to quag so. so we could have used this. Could have swung with some hydro pressure instead. Under pressure. That's what we are right now. He doesn't even know what he wants to do. He wants to take two prize cards. Admirable. Whoa, retreating into a dude with damage as well. Holy. Okay, so we have those three choice bands in the deck that we were talking about. Um, I'll promote this to use the Gizma to draw further. Just mother Lele. <clears throat> there we go. Get out of here. Get gone. Washed out, not washed up. <clears throat> Never a doubt. I mean, we did have draws. We had three choice bands in eight card deck. If we didn't draw it there, we had uh, uh, three Arangaroo draws if the other card was into play. And our other cards in deck were Energy and Stretcher and something else, which I can't remember. Brooklets. Brooklets were our worst draws there. <coughs> Two of them. Um, so Articuno was trash. There you go. Palkia still hasn't been played a single turn. And the only time... I mean, we have had enough energies on the board to use him, to be fair. But... Uh, I mean, we haven't faced any V-Karays yet. I just feel like the deck is so... So much better when it's so much si just simplicity. But the thing is, the Palkia just being cut for a switch doesn't sound like great. I feel like we'd rather have the... Ah, uh, fine. Let's keep Articuno for now. One switch isn't enough, and I don't like the cuts for two. I'm so greedy. Palkia seems the least useful in practice. I mean, me and Jack actually tried Palkia before it was in the Memphis list, and we came to the conclusion that it was useless. <laughs> but uh, I think the lack of search ability is really annoying for it as well. Mm-hmm. Like you just kind of, kind of got to have theoretically, it. Theoretically, the card is busted, but you just, you just, you just don't get the combo anywhere near as often enough for it to be useful. Bindering a cold one with the boys. Didn't notice the comment about Feeny. Should we add a Feeny in here? Hmm. I mean, the thing is, the. The Palkia is far like less useful, but the the Feeny doesn't improve your trade. Whereas, like, you sort of need the Palkia to be taking that big knockout for it to be worthwhile. Going second, is it better for us when we already have Cynthia in hand? And that's our ideal supporter with the sort of hand we're looking at to just lead the Lele here. Protect Whoop Swoggle. Yeah, I don't hate it. Is it worth running the water park here? Uh, I would say no, because then Delmise can still come in and slap you about a bit. It does make it a lot more searchable and aquapatchable, so it's more realistic, but again, the Palkia has to serve the role by being able to tank. More spread with Shining Vocal Kyogre? I've thought about adding in those, but at the moment, just... I don't want to cut anything. I don't want to hurt the engine. 
debating Suicune. Yeah, I definitely think Suicune's reasonable. But again, this list is so tight. I want a bit... So Sightseers can easily come in. You can just play one Lillian, a couple Sightseers. Um, but I also want to play Adventurous Satchel. So that's going to be interesting to try and weave those things in. Because Satchel digging out two XP shares is just like, mate, shake my hand, it's absolutely over. Ugh, what a choice. Gross. I think getting the Lele moved straight away is fine, especially if we're just getting a free collect out of it. We had a good enough turn one to not need to Cynthia for anything. New shiny busted cards, better than Daddy Lapras. Or well, not as good as Daddy Lapras. I hate the less more than thing. Daddy Lapras is just broken, man. Do I think blur counts will increase after Lost Thunder? Spell tag Malamar seems insane. Um, from the decks I'm looking at, I don't see there being many spaces towards them. Don't think it's realistic to expect there to be like two counts. Especially with Prism Star Stadium cards coming out not being affected by Blower. Makes you super sad if you are the one playing Blower instead of a Stadium. Because uh, giving anyone a busted for effect for that long is just sadness. I imagine... Um, there's definitely the opportunity for Zoro decks to be playing it in multiple counts, but I don't see many other decks incorporating it. All right, we want to bin the water, get the quag. Choice land isn't going to be great in this matchup. Try and hit Aqua Patch Water Energy. Oh, poor combo deck. We can Jet Geyser Ultra Ball Instruct. For the full three card value. Or we could keep Lily and get a two card draw and collect afterwards. Using the Jet Geyser brings up Coco, which makes us more likely to die. Let's let's be less likely to die. How's that then? How's that sound for a slice of fried gold? You're gonna make a Zoro Desi Tails? Don't know if you have space for all three. I found it tight enough to just play Zoro Desi or Zoro Tails. Oh, sorry, Desi. Desi Tails or Desi Zoro. I never found space for all three. Definitely not. I really like my Desi Tails and Desi Zora lists though. They look much better than previously. Back when Windstorm was a card, with two cards broken-ish, like to the point of running two. Um, that was some pretty busted cards. Yeah. There was the... I don't know how to pronounce it. The Cessation Crystal? What's it called? There were decks playing four copies of Cessation Crystal and Cessation Beach, I want to say. I think it was just called Crystal, Crystal Beach, Beach. Right? Crystal Beach, there you go. Yeah. yeah.
one one line of the tails. I mean, the tails are so broken. Yeah, man, it's not that. It's just I don't think it's worth as a one one line. Uh, I guess it is, but so so often you're just like, oh, I really need to beacon here. Oh, my guy's dead. Well, that one one line is just a one line now. Is this a new room? No, it's the same room. Uh, so now we want a jet geyser, right? Uh, only if we can hit another energy. Uh, that's fine. We do want to build as many energies as possible here, obviously. <clears throat> See if maybe we can catch a better target here. You'll probably just bring up Coco. Still makes life more awkward for him. He has to commit earlier to his decision. Definitely don't need choice band. Ultra Ball can get us less hand for the Lily. Although it is bad for us to be promoting or having a Lapras promoted just to get bopped here, I don't really want to just pay retreat out. We could even go for an Ice Beam GX here and uh, set it up for the Sauna Blast. I don't mind that. The only problem with it is we don't have a... We're not staring down a Guzma. Let's play the Ultra Ball and Instruct and see if we want to do that. I don't have the other Quag. Okay. I want to be looking at Guzma next turn. If we're going to go for this line. Yeesh. Yeesh. I guess we could just sauna blast it anyway. Okay. Try and do it this way. Because to keep up in this race, we want to be like gusting these boys out before they become big boys. The spread is going to knock this out, this out. Start getting the uh, stuff dead. Spread and dead. Uh, Sean, you're right. Ditto kind of makes it more reasonable. Still, though, you only have one beacon to start off with. I still, I still would like a second beacon, even with the ditto. I still like a second beacon. I think, but I don't know the rest of your list. So. All I know is I've built two lists, and both of them keep away from each other rather than trying to merge them all all three. So you're gonna Guzma Lele here. Guzma Vault Prism Star is also kind of awkward. We don't use energy but we lose a nice little spreadums. And that is definitely gonna be part of our route to win. There you go, Mad Captain. There's four episodes scheduled for you. So he is four. He is four. So he's definitely debating where this gust comes in. He's just racing. Good old fashioned kill the GX Pokemon. So, I'm going for this. What was that voice, by the way? What? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. I got Halo nothing. GX Pokemon. <laughs> uh, okay. Embarrassing. Where are my flapjacks? My goodness, this is bad news, bears. How many candies has he been through? 
two candies. This is going to be bad, isn't it? I feel like we're in a bad spot. Running out of deck as well. And we don't want any cards in the deck. This is getting very awkward. The Explosion, thanks so much for following, dude. That's awesome. What's the best team in the UK at the moment? CCG? Yeah, I guess the complexity players. We're not a only UK team, but they are the... Uh, we are the highest ranked now, I think. Let's have a party popper ready for a when slash if Sonika dies. Harsh. One party popper. We'd love to see a death profile on Sceptile GX soon. Not on YouTube yet, you guys will be the first on the scene. Sceptile's one I'm pretty sure Joe has multiple lists for. Yeah. So right oh, now, the top three players in the UK are all CCG. And they're... Uh, well, five of us in the top 11. From the UK? Yeah. Tamal's number 11, I'm 9, Seb, Luke, and Oh, Alex. nice. Depth profile on Sceptile. Yeah, I was thinking of doing Sceptile next, actually, because I want to sort of break up Blacephalon and Zerora because their lists are very similar. <laughs> so I don't want to just say, hey, remember that Zerora deck I saw, you saw yesterday? Here's a red version. It's better. <laughs> you know? Jack would have been there if he embraced his inner ribbons. There's yeah. not all multiple parts about that statement I disagree with. But I guess I could have. I'm, no, I'm not I'm not gonna get into that conversation. <laughs> I could have if I'd played Sylveon, maybe. Guys. But that's a chicken nugget. You just got <laughs> You just got <laughs> I can't even say it. You just got chicken nuggeted, mate. That looks pretty good, you know? I'm dead. Other well, Quagsire's prize, so we can't even go in with Quagsire. This one doesn't exist. Played one. Seven cards left in deck. We play four. Captain Guzma's not here today. Come on, make a mistake, Jack Geyser. Not these two. Or that one. Embarrassing. We just got effed in the A. Nah, it's not right to GX there because he just always has Guzma. He has two Swampets on board and ten cards left in deck. He can find Guzma. What went wrong there? We missed our turn to attack. Is that it? Is that why we lost? We led Lapras, which isn't great. Did we lead Lapras? No, we led Lele, which isn't great. Then put down Lapras before putting down Volk Prism. We should have led Volk Prism and tried to do... Spread around, spread around. That old chestnut. Spread around. Little tidbit is if we do play Kyogre, our matchup is better against that deck. Because we can... 
go Volk Prison early. Koga finish off the other jazzy nose. And maybe win. Oh, crumbs. This is going to be difficult. Why is Lapras better than Quag Spread? Um, Lapras is way better at dealing with Zoroark. And you also have Collect to improve your early game. And you are a combo deck at the end of the day. My Dino Chicken Nugget Man. I haven't had chicken dinosaurs in years, but they would be my nugget of choice if I was to buy them. My nugget of choice. Good choice, to be fair. I mean, if you've got the choice, you take it, right? Yeah. 100%. I'd say so. This is rough. My man! <laughs> uh, no. Oh, monkey, where are you? No! We were gonna do everything we wanted in the end. Oh, crumbs. We had so many plans. Why? Ah, uh, no. I think I'm more of a straight hash kind of guy. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hash browns and nuggets. I, I forgot. We, I didn't see. I didn't read the browns bit. Everything's better than banana sandwiches. Let's be real. Um. Don't hit DCE, bro. Just don't do it. Don't do it to me. He's gonna just because you slagged off banana sandwiches. And he's put the banana master on the board, so. You can't be doing that. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, he still has Coco on the board, so we're still super duper diddly dumb dead, but. <sighs> this is just hurting my brain looking at this. It's embarrassing. It's not even weakness cheese, it's just that we've not done anything. We take a lot. And we don't even have an, an Oranguru to make that happen. That's actually... That's us on our way now. We're on our way. I'm going to have a choice band this later. When I say we're on our way. We're on our way bloody home. See you later, mate. Embarrassing. We can't win that game. Okay, that's enough of that deck for now. It is just super combo orientated. What are the odds of this matchup? Low. Very low. You have to approach it like a Zoro matchup. In that you need to try and get Volk down early to make stuff happen for you. Hopefully deal with Oranguru slash Slugmas to make the engine bad. If you can do that, you have a chance of winning. But you just know that you can always just slip behind because a Lapras is just dead every time. 
Like, there's plenty of matchups where you'll face stuff that can get one hit KOs. It's just the fact that the other guy's so bloody bulky. Those pods. You basically always lose if they armor press and you can't guzma around it as well. And if they're armor pressing, you just know they'll armor press again. Or GX your Lele. Like, it's really bad. <sighs> One bulky buggo. Yeah. He's pretty bulky. Oh, good. We prized our fan club. That's good news. Our hand is bad, and we want it to be less likely that he can Chimeco us. We don't want him to have tool search card energy. Not a bad let loose from our end. <clears throat> Tech unit baby Rashi. I don't think so. Unit energy is so bad in the deck where we're <laughs> so focused on actual water energies. Me and Alex actually talked about this the night before. <laughs> the night before Frankfurt. We we're like, oh, if you can't beat the fight, if you can't beat the, the grass matchups at the moment, let's just. No, it's never right. Let's just get ourselves a fire Pokemon. But then I quickly reminded him he couldn't move the energy with Quagsire. And he realised, trash. Is Quagsire only basics? Oh wait, no, you can. I was just, I was just saying Aqua Patch. That's basically why I'm saying Aqu definitely Aqua Patch not is another. Yeah. Aqua Patch is another big, big reason. Hmm. Take a juicy, juicy KO. Potentially fall prey to this. Or charge Tempest. Um, that sounds like our best move. Rupert Ferrin, so you can hit a weakness with Quagsire. That is the other option, of course. Checking an old Flareon. Do I want this just for uh, non GX stuff to swing against? Here's non GX stuff. Maybe. We don't have any rays on our board now, though. We'll see how this goes. Uh, maybe this was better in the bin because we do play two stretcher. Hmm. The episode I've just gone through, I genuinely spent about ten minutes dealing with one executor. <laughs> just, the battle just carried on and carried on and carried on. Tanky boy. Sleepy boy. Mm. Keep on putting my things to sleep on. Yeah, that's annoying. He's not going to swing for one twenty, right? He's he just not he's just not going to do that. Surely.
Surely that's not what he's going to do here. There's just no way. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? Well, okay. Uh Second Vicavant for more energy. To get it in the discard. Oh yeah, genius. Yeah, we just go second Vicavant here. Because Vika Vault can kill Marshadow. That's absolutely embarrassing. Uh, but we don't power up Vika Vault. We power up the Lugia so we can Guzma around the Marshadow turn. Green here. Yellow here. We only have two more yellows. Do I want to... I think I keep the yellow in deck. Is this Frankfurt? No. I'm playing the Shaman in the Lugia. I play Batons though. I think I just want to pull out one green here. I'll play a yellow. Once you're hiding in someone's toilet. What? What? <laughs> That's a strange looking toilet, you know. A whiteboard and a computer. Just this standard toilet. I've moved my desk around. <laughs> If this was someone's toilet, they're in here for the long haul. Like, right? <laughs> they just want it. Change it back? No one likes change. It's just the way my new desk sets up. I think I like it better like this. He's made it so he can knock me out with Psychic, then after you kill his Deoxys, he can use Marshallo to use the to use the GX attack of Dawnwings. Makes it two to three prizes, and you can't attack him for two prizes back. But I can go to two, he can go to one, I can go to win. Sinichi, thank you so much for the host, dude. 24 hey. viewers. That's awesome. Why did he not GX the first time? Because I wasn't ahead on prizes. The first two prizes I took was on the GX itself. Zorro gang, here we go. The lack of colour in the background. Yeah, it is grim. What? Yep, okay. You're saying there'd be no GX on the board, but... If he copies with Marshadow, we can go to one and then to zero on the Marshadow itself. So.
Alrighty. I really don't know what deck I like in the format right now. What deck do you like in this format, Jack? Anything? Um, no. But if I had to, if I was going to say a special event, I don't know, maybe in Lille in probably around two weeks' time. Yeah. I'd for probably, example. for example, I'd probably um, be looking at how to beat Malamar. Yes. Because I think, um, I don't think the format will be too different for us. I think it'll be a lot of Vika Ray and a lot of Malamar. I think the two decks to beat will be Vika Ray and Malamar. Um, Do you not think Buzzrock as well? Uh, I know Buzzrock... Oh, Luke's going to slate me. Um, I know Buzzrock did well, but I think the Malamars should somewhat keep it in check. I'm not saying it's a good matchup for either. Luke, don't kill me, but theoretically, I think it, it still is slightly favourable for the Malamars. So they will keep it somewhat in check. It'll still be popular, though, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think it will be popular. It's just... that I think the two decks... I think the mo two most popular decks will be Malamar and Vigoro. Okay. Interesting. Um, I rarely see Mali a deck that's actually super popular, but I guess... I just think it did so well. The Chimeco... The Chimeco did so well, and the other thing is, I think people will just assume Buzzrock is auto win for you. So they'll be like, "Well, Buzzrock also did well, so let's just pick up Mali yeah. and beat all the Buzzrocks." Which it isn't auto win, but I think it will like at the same time, it probably is even to favorable for you. So they should keep the Buzzrocks in check, but also good like good Buzzrock players won't care that there's Malamars in their room because they'll be able to beat them. Um. But yeah, I think you need an out to dealing with rays, so a fairy type Pokemon or a way to trade up against a ray or something like that, and a deck that doesn't just have Pokemon with abilities in, mm -hmm. which is why I like the idea of Zoro with non-ability based counters for Jamico and Ray, i.e. Lele and Latios and Deoxys. Because cool. they all work off of one energy as well, which means they're not liking rocks, so you don't need to cross your fingers. Cross them tight. Buzz Rock is like 45 55 against mana if the players play optimally. That seems fair. Luke, L Luke will agree. always say Buzz Rock is favorable against literally every deck um but he is a very good player so he probably feels that way i felt fine against malamars he outright refuses to accept that buzz shrine is a bad matchup for buzz rock but i'm like six two against scott playing the deck um admittedly i i feel better now about how to win the matchup but i still don't think it's favorable and I heard very different stories from both Scott and Luke as to how the matchup went in Germany. Just win, mate. Just right. Step one: beast energy opening hand. I heard. I heard one person say one person was on the ropes, whilst the other one said it. They were one card off from winning. Yeah. So I I don't know who to believe. Yeah. I do. Uh, Zygarde in Zoro Rock. Yeah, I like that. Chimeco is an issue for it. Yeah, I mean, there are, like I say, there are answers for Chimeco. I think it did incredibly well um, that weekend because no one was playing around it. But as soon as you know how to play around it. But, like, Z Zygarde started, I think, was starting to see more popularity anyway because of Sylveon doing well. So, it's just like a... two birds with one stone, really. Say Buzzrock is favoured versus Malamar is hilarious. It's not favoured against Malamar. I think it's even at best. But I think... Malamar players will just assume it's auto-win, which will lose them the matchup. Because you can't assume it's auto win because you bench one too many DX Pokemon or 
you don't care enough about your Inkes or Malamars and you've lost the game. You still have to play well as a Malamar player to not to be able to deal with the aggression from a buzzwall. I played the matchup in Germany. I lost 2-1, uh, but the, the game, the first game I won, the second game was incredibly close. The third game, he, he drew the absolute nuts. Um, but it was it's definitely, from my testing, a pretty even matchup. It's slightly favoured for Mali. It's nowhere near as... Like, even... It's hard to say whether it was more favoured before... Because I even felt it was pretty even back in, like, Sheffield. Because you just had so much aggression then. You've got less aggression now. So it's probably slightly worse now. I was matter of experience. super depressed to tie against two Buzz Rocks when I played Mali, though. Super depressed. It only happened because of such stupid luck. It's all a matter of personal experience. Technically, I'm four rows, Green Ninja breaking his zero pod, but it's the only deck I hire or lead. Yeah, of course. I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not saying it's. Yeah, it, it's. It's more about how much you've played the matchup. Like I say, I've played Scott in probably a total of twelve, thirteen games now of pretty much identical lists between those two deck, uh, the two decks that we played, and I think I understand the matchup so much better than I did from when I started. The last time I played him was in a top eight of a cup, and we didn't actually have a. Well, I think we had one full game out of the top, out of the best of three, because we were just both drawing absolute crumb. Um, and I oh, think in that, why don't we have Buzzle, these? Buzzle has to do more. They have to really conserve their item count, which they can do sometimes, but they have to. Uh, have to be careful. If the Buzzrock player doesn't see the Beast Energy early. It's auto loss. It's not auto loss if they don't see Beast Energy early. If they deal with two Malamars, it's very, very favourable because you have to then probably find four in case. It's not auto loss. It's not auto loss at all. It's hard. It's not auto loss. You're going to be losing its buzzer as they get lucky and hit all their B strings. I mean, B yeah, B string is in. Is a huge swing card as well. The key turns are like being able to take a GX on their Dawnwings turn if you've gone ahead, which can be difficult if they only play down one GX. But at the same time, if you've taken one or two prizes, it's probably on Inkies slash Malamars. And if you Should then can't them. take a, if you then can't take a two prize knockout on the turn that they. Uh, Dawn Wings GX, you, you then take another Malamar, so they should uh, the theoretically only ever have one Malamar out from that from then on. So that's that's a huge part of it. And also, if they ever play an extra GX down, I played three. I played Buzz at three major tournaments last season and never lost a Malamar. <clears throat> the Guzmer in my hand should be involved now. I've messed up. Malamar Shrine, however, Malamar Shrine, uh, yeah, Malamar Shrine is pretty much straight auto loss. <laughs> Lugias are big old boys, big old tanky boys. Let's all agree on that for a second. I don't want my words being twisted and me <laughs> finding a clip in two days' time. Malamar Shrine auto win for Buzzwell. What? Now they don't even have to clip it. <laughs> You embarrass yourself. Crumbs. Someone just added, unless the Buzzwall player's playing Lucimine Prism Star. <laughs> and then at the end, and then, then at the end, Joe kicking me out for call again. <laughs> just, just, just three clips. The chain reaction. Yeah. So I'll be doing the channel uh, on my own for the rest of the, rest of the evening. Embarrassing. Oh, we're just too good at this game. The captain doesn't ring again. A little.
was a good clip. <laughs> Wee Max Paw. It's a shame there's a Lele on your board, bruh. It's about to get squashed. Why would you play Quagsire in this list? You're playing a Max Potion list. Why would you play Quagsire? Oh, it's because you can hit four Aqua Patch in a turn. Right. Wash them all out. Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. Unfortunately, Wishy Washy doesn't increase the hit points of Tapu Lele. Trash guard. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's go back to some monkey business before I write the deck off forever. <laughs> Come on. Stop giving me tournament tickets, I don't care. What? How dare you? I've got 1,220 tournament tickets. Why don't you use some? Enter some tournaments, mate. Wait, this is Joe. This is Joe's footage. What? What? Simeon! Hell yeah, monkey business is here. Monkey business sounds like so good in my head. But it always draws crumb. <laughs> and I started off by putting in the A spec of one Ultra Ball to improve its draws. One Ultra Ball. And then I turned that A spec into two copies of Ultra Ball. And it is helping a lot. Because Lillying for two is the saddest thing ever. And you do it all the time with this deck. Mm. So I've got the A specs in here to improve our draws. Good cards. I hope I've put them in this list now that I've mentioned it. I've done it on other lists. I did it IRL and I tested it this weekend. Absolute ace spec. It's a Guardi playing Vulpix and Eevee. I didn't mulligan, he chose to put the Vulpix on the back. So we. Wait. Done. Water deck box, what face? Glaceon? Glaceon Ninetales? Go and draw a supporter, so Nest Ball first. My concern is that Glaceon lists do play a lot of energy removal, and this Acrobike makes me sad face. Um, so I don't really want, want to just be putting down DCEs straight up, but... Okay. Ooh, gong, gong, gong. Well, we need our race back. 
know that much. Luckily, you're on two of them. <sighs> it's basically your cue, you all over again. <laughs> We've changed it now. I've changed the rules. Mm. I don't make the rules. You literally do. <laughs> I need to look at uh, new set stuff as well for what cards to add. Ah, oh, there's no way you're gonna be able to bring it to mine in a week's time, are you? Sure. Poggers. I mean, I'm not making many changes. I'm just adding in like the new psychic Sableye as like a search card, like stuff like that. You know, nothing too crazy. I'd genuinely like to see Ross draft. <laughs> he can barely play the game, but he'd come up with some. He'd, I think, I think he'd probably end up doing a Ben Pavey. No, you reckon? He he drafts Magic all the time, dude. Well, there you go then. He's he's a good drafter. It's good. He was so excited when I told him that press was good again. He was like, "I'm in. I'm playing the game again. <laughs> When's the next tournament?" <laughs> Love him. Hold on to the shrine. I mean, we were playing the Tatanalyzer every time. We want to thin the cards out of our deck. Add five Whitney. We have so much potential to draw badly that we want to do it this way. Five Whitney to the draft. I was thinking of adding like 12, but... <laughs> Please. Five can work. We can work with five. Mr. B still hasn't responded to me, actually. No! One Pokemon all Whitney. We could have had it all. <laughs> Poggers, but it's it's not poggers. Oh well. It's still pretty good. That would have been a knockout. Yeah, prize the monkey. Mm. That is unfortunate. Omnipoke does the voice. <laughs> you know we said about new content. Embarrassing. Rolling in defeat. <laughs> that is genius. So I see Red Candy made a six hour set review. Yeah, I'm two hours in. I'm on the water types. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I do feel like it could be more concise. But hey. People say the same about us. You've watched the whole thing already? That's crazy. I really wish their rating system was different, to be honest. Good, bad, and question mark. It seems like such a weird system to me. Like, why would people want to watch your stuff if you're just going to say question mark? You're meant to be the one giving people the answers. Or at least what you think is the answer. And when they're like, eh, eh. I mean, why am I listening to hear someone go, eh? <laughs> you know? <laughs> one man's opinion. It's like, overall, I don't know how good this card's going to be. It's like, well, thanks. I'm glad I'm here listening to you. You really are an expert. Just savaging people. I mean, am I wrong? 
I didn't say that. I don't watch any set reviews. I watch ours. Ours is good. I mean, I like what they say. Their content isn't bad. It's just that... Why give a question mark as an option? <laughs> you, you better think it through. <laughs> and argue with your friends like we did with Lucifer Prism stuff. <laughs> if you're not actively ruining friendships, it's not a good set review. Is it even a set review? Yeah, good night. I, I, I can't uh, argue with the discussion. Don't remind me of the set review. Get it done. I still need to watch Mark Reviews, Omni Reviews. Five hours to go. What's Mark's criteria for us? Or for the cards, I guess. Maybe he has criteria for us as well. Uh, for all these guys are boring. Will they see play? It's a pretty simple system. Fair. Job click. You must be so excited with lots of knowledge coming. No. <laughs> so, do I. We don't play Kakui. Do I promote this one knowing that he can just snipe this for dead? Or just keep this one active knowing this is always dead anyway? And losing another energy card. Oval 21, OUL 77. Thanks so much for the follow. I think I do it this way. Mainly because it keeps the snipe off my monkey. <laughs> so we're like, we're protecting as much energy as we can with this route. The gang plays Lost March. Don't want to be top tier, but people will play it. I mean, I've seen loads of testing, like, games, and it's always been like, Lost March beats the GX deck. <laughs> like, oh, does it? Incredible. But it's not just going to be big bopping GX decks in the format, unfortunately. Big boppers. Oh, just got another 10 minute clip of me beating another executor. Literally, <laughs> every signature I see, it just takes me about an hour episode. It's an hour episode just for me to beat it. It's yeah. incredible. No Kikui. Okay, okay. Grand Bull. Yeah. That's something I really want to try out. Just because it's going to be so fun to play. Yeah, we're definitely in a spot. Spot that we don't really want to be in, to be honest. Copycat may be our best move here. Huh? 
I want to try and find shrine to boot. Uh, now we can go 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 with our monkey. Because we do have our other monkey in here. But at the moment we're going 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 active. But he can't take out. Well, the two energy he takes out is Coco Mimikyu. Then we're down to one, and this comes... I actually think it's better to attack with the monkey here. It's scary though, just because the Glaceon spreading is really annoying. Surprising this Basimian and not ever finding Gladion has been annoying. Will Thunder, how's it going? Welcome. You get to test Grammel yourself against yourself. Yeah, that's really true. I wonder if he GX attacks this Basimian just to play around Mimikyu. That'd be pretty hype. To be honest. Hey, just so much for the follow, Will Thunder. Welcome to the team. Have to do with the Glaceon because otherwise you can just DC dead. Don't think he has anything that can kill us outside of Aqua Patch into a bigger, uh, bigger Nine Tails. Uh oh. What's the play? Man, if I knew, I wouldn't be playing monkeys right now. Whoa, he plays Lapras too. This deck is spooky. Don't know what's going on in here. He honestly, at this point, I don't know, like, the stuff he's playing has been so wild, he could just have Acerola and kill us with a Lele. Like, there's so much stuff going on in his list. That's based for both Ninetales, Kukui's, Double Blower, and Crushings. Just he's have space. Monkeys is busted. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I'm worried at how they draw though. Found chocolate hot knobs in the top drawer, busted. Top drawer. Uh. Energy Drive doesn't win us game anywhere, does it? 
You can team play there. Three, six, nine, ten. Or we can just retreat and do something. Guzma isn't game though, right? So. We'd counter capture that's game. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's not game, right? Three, six, nine, ten. Uh. That's not game. That's at one ten. Three, six, nine, ten. Oh. Um, are we 10 damage off winning? That's pretty gross. Three lilies. I played four lilies. <laughs> What's your support line, uh, Kika? Let me check your list. You played it right in Memphis. Oh wow, you're playing Underground Expeditions? Holy. Underground Expedition, talk to me. Tell me why. Teach me. Right. Incredible. Underground Expedition is busted? How? Am I playing Prams list? Yeah, mine's close to Prams. I want to put Ultra Balls in here to make my, lily, uh, my lilies better because I haven't changed it. Oh, uh, sorry, on PCGO, yet. Yeah. I can definitely see copycats coming in. Tail lines are absolute trash, so I can happily get rid of those. I've gone to three Guzma, two counts catcher. I think that's stronger. Why is Underground Exhibition so good though? Two cards. Well, it looks like we're trying out some Kika Spice. <laughs> uh, I'm really happy putting copycats in because Tainalizers are really terrible. A little bit less happy about this next card that we're playing two of. Not three of. Uh, what's the last? Uh, 11, 8. Oh, you play a fourth Lotto? <laughs> I 
I want to play... So, Kika, what I was thinking was, if we just play Ultra Balls, we make our Lilies draw more cards, and then they're better than both of these, the, than these trash, right? Like, let's not beat around the bush. These cards are trash, even if they're slightly better than Lily in this exact deck. But why don't we just play Ultra Balls and make them and make our Lilies better? Ultra Ball is awful. Hmm. I'm talking two or one as an ace spec. Broken ace spec. You're taking the least of the trash. It was always bad. I think the only time it's excellent is when you face other shrine stuff. That's when I've been like, man, where are my ultra balls? I keep tantalizing into shrines. This is terrible. Played on stream today and you were smashed. It's in trash, who cares what you put in? <laughs> Switch to three one Simeon. No, please don't make me do that. It's so depressing. No, I don't wanna. It's so scary. I'd play second Gladion over um, underground expeditions if I was doing that. It's not a Pacimian deck. It is a Pacimian deck. In certain matchups, it's a Pacimian deck. Dream One Line still oh, it goes Zorak when you prize any of the four. Not the one! <laughs> not the one! Did attacks with rock throw, rock throw counter energy. Busted. Mm, the juice. Should have taken it for better acro bike. Play three, want to play a good deck. Options, options. Let's hope he gets a big hand, huh? Need to figure out where I'm going with this. Where are we going with this, boys? Stack to start coming down. This is going to start to look really bad. But. Stacker and Shrine is a good thing. So maybe we bait the stackers, get the Shrine ticking over, and we're still Gucci. Let's try that. This matchup is Scoop Phase. We're going to try and uh, try and get the Shrines doing the... Oh, uh, seriously? That's embarrassing. Hmm. So, Kika, those copycats, huh? It's fine, he played Cynthia. <laughs> Still not that fine. Man, I hate all the decks right now. Literally all of them. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see what you've done there. Coffee cat for 14. Well, yeah, of course, but Zoroark's free anyway, right? You're playing bloody Pacimian. I am. 
I'm just keep phasing. This is going to be boring. Will I be getting the new Solgaleo soon? Is it on uh, PCGO? Yeah, it's out. Oh. Why have I not been training for those? I'll trade for them for Monday. Hmm. And we'll try some stuff. The Zoro Galean. How how old is this list? There's no chimums. And there's no Joe on this episode your curse is literally in the middle of the screen. Wee. balls good cards you know let's rock with this for a bit energy holy poggers your exact 60 holy pog big re with a 10 energy yeah big old re played 14 in the cup never with Where's the new Solgaleo? I don't know, I'll have to try and get it. On Monday. Oh, I'll get it behind the scenes ready for Monday. Behind the scenes. Is there, Vogue after dark. Is oh. there any any reason to play Gladin in this list with him how one ofs it plays? It really does spook me how many one ofs this plays. When is Leo? No, it's the it's... third and fourth. No, fourth and fifth. Yeah. It's the week after the expanded regionals. In Murica. Busted Marshadow value. <laughs> nah, and you said it's not legal. Is released that weekend. Yeah, just a sort guy. This hand is pretty poggers, right? I think I'm just going for full eight. No, we'll go seven. We'll go seven. We don't want to attach to something better. We have so many ro uh, escape boards. We want to attach to better stuff. Bustavo and Alt <laughs> Alt be a fusion. Bustavo, I like that. That's a good name. Does it ever let loose? Is 
Next time we go, Mali, attach, attach. Or we retreat here, attach manually and go, Mali, Mali, attach, attach here. You go discard for Mali, 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 second treasure for Lele or Marshadow. Yeah, that seems fine. Brazil's going to be a pretty nuts tournament. I think it's likely the hardest tournament anyone's played in because it's the largest set ever and it's such an impactful set. <laughs> it's going to be really hard. We've had some, mm. in recent times, like there's been regionals that have been difficult, like when uh, Guardians Rising first came out and like nationals when uh, Roaring Skies first came out. But from my memory, this is the most impact, like one of the most impactful sets in terms of like so six new archetypes could be brewing, and that's it's pretty crazy. At least, yeah, yeah, at least. Are we just going to try and two shot this boy? Yeah. Brazil, same weekend of Royal Oak. You know, it won't be the same weekend. Brazil is the 18th, 17th, and 18th weekend. We have our other stretcher, right? Okay, two lelies on the board sounds well, but let's do it. Sorry. I mean, I could let loose. It's kind of YOLO, more YOLO. His hand size is four anyway, so we're not like disrupting him. The only thing is we're not putting more GXs on our board. High roll. I'd never know when to embrace the high roll with this deck. It's so, yeah, you know. Oh, look, we don't have our other Lele. Why am I even debating this? Embarrassing. We only play one Lele. What are we even thinking? Juan Cruiser, seven. Thank you so much for the follow. Should have believed. Look at this. Busted. Oof, those nest balls. How you like me now? Uh, I think we just go ahead and get another Inke. I think we, as discussed earlier, we only lose if we don't have enough ink on the board. Friend ball would have been busted here. <laughs> I've just completely lost faith in friend ball. <laughs> I'm a non-believer. <sighs> the amount of mirrors you'll face, it might not be bad. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be a scary matchup. No one's actually a believer. <laughs> that is not a bad hand to get from the judge. Guru Pock Champ. Lunar Prism should wreck. The Zygarde, yeah. I don't feel safe putting down the Lunala because we only have one thing on our board. If 
got escape ropes for out, so I should have promoted literally anything else. Uh, I haven't played this deck enough. <coughs> Yeah, you've spent an episode of the Nuzlocke, uh, 15 minutes of said episode, deciding on one party member. It's just, it's just your PC. It's important, Jack. These things can't be rushed, okay? It's incredible, because <laughs> the reason for it is just fantastic. This is so all in, once we've played so many bull search cards already. I need a lot of time here to figure out what's right. I think play nothing is actually our move. We could pull out a marshy boy. Though. Ah, oh, this is so bad though. Ah. Marshy boy is probably safest. But he just bops, and then we're super sad. Yeah, we've got to get a non-GX swinging. Please. That's a big old re from me, folks. Oh. God, why did I promote the Lele? Stupid for getting out. So stupid. Can we do any shenanigans with this? Huh, huh. No, we're just going to... sound good does it folks doesn't sound good to me <sighs> what oh, I have more oh five let's go I was literally looking for the button that said done I've already given up on this game. Just hypnosis that turn. Yeah, probably our best out. I'm trying to maybe force a GX or like bait a GX here to get back into the game. The fifth energy, ultimate bait. Wait, is he actually going to GX our Lele? Wait, he didn't even use Bloodthirsty Eyes? He is GXing this. Pollers! We can win! <laughs> it was that fifth energy, I reckon. That did it. Lunala. So we actually don't GX, right? We just smack. He's doing 120, 140, 170, 180, 190, even with Kikui, he can't get there. So we just normal attack this turn. Moon's Eclipse next turn. It's all gonna be okay. Give him a flash of our of our goods. I'm 
not using invasion. Re. Dunna, dunna, dunna. What is he doing here? Uh oh. Okay. Time to build the mightiest Lele in all of the kingdom. to our own trumpet joke but our nose lock is absolute gold <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it no wonder Mali beats Buzz Rock yeah I mean he's done some things 360 no scope the Buzz Rock hmm no you're not are you you're not putting down more things this is just the best. Best day ever. I mean, we still very much can and may lose. But he has to hope to hit DC now off of three monkey draws. Two monkey draws. <laughs> what? Never punished. If there is a god. <laughs> this is embarrassing, I'm gonna to lose to this. This is actually so sad. I shouldn't have built the Lele. This is if I'm gonna to lose to this. Oh, it feels so bad. Uh, this feels horrible. Fine. Yikes. <laughs> okay, okay. We just need to stay calm. Damn it, stay calm, Jack. <sighs> 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 Damn it, oh, just stay calm, okay? It's all be okay. Oh, I keep slamming doors in my house. The one thing we don't want you to do is panic right now, Jack. Just don't do that. In an ideal world. Outskilled. Uh, Outskilled. Out I shouldn't have built the Lele, it's so stupid. Don't know what I was doing. He was never gonna achieve anything with this. It really is my fault for throwing. Like, I know he threw, but I threw equally as hard. <laughs> I 
Yeah, played perfectly. That's, don't let him. Don't let him click it. Yeah, we won that because we conceded. <laughs> Incredible. We outclicked him. That's embarrassing. Well, I clearly can't play that deck well enough. Let's have one more game before I go to bed. Tappy Cure. Did I really miss Tappy Cure as well? Oh my god, I played so badly. We could have won in so many ways. Why did I not tap? Wait, I already used my GX, that's why. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good he got drops. But still. That is upsetting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go off windowed and go on to full screen. Full attention. Mm -hmm. Ugh, Lunala, three retreat costs. Kill me. We're going first, so I can't even full star. But he's a Mali deck, so we can't put it down, right? We can't put down Marsh. It's just dumb. It's just goodbye. Doom. Doom and gloom. Thoughts on Lugia GX? Yeah, I think it's a little bit too vanilla right now. Wait. Oh, I hate the new system of mulligans. It showed us our mulligan. And then showed us his deck after. I mean, we still don't want to put Marshall down in this matchup, but. Whew, nice mulligan. The poggest of champs. Whoa. Play lots of item cards against a guard deck, shall we? It's genuinely the right way to go, which is the ironic thing. Because we are a non GX deck in this matchup. Yeah, the Lugia GX, I mean, its numbers are a little awkward, and it's a little, like, everything is just a bit too expensive, I think, for the Lugia GX. Its GX attack is really bad as well. I think you could be getting the job done with other non-GXs for similar attack costs. Lunala runs over this deck. Yeah, that's the plan. I didn't want to stomp off a psychic energy. Outplayed. I want to find more energy discard cards. I guess Full Moon Star just to active is fine though. Start Psy waving. We'll tank the 60. We tank the 60 and hope he doesn't get blower for the next turn, or in the next two turns. This is going to be pretty groovy. Lotto. Kukui. Hello. Oh, into field blower. Excellent. Remember that plan we spoke about? It's all part of the plan. Don't forget my cables. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. I definitely would have. That's really important. I need to buy boxes and cables today. And anything else. Can anyone buy me a deck that actually works in this format? How's that sound? Possible? I hope so. What am I doing today? 
I'm really not playing great. Just play Zora Control? I could do. It's a lot of brain power though, that's the problem. I do have enough time to like pick any deck and just get adept with it though. That is kind of the thing that's still on my side. Three escape boards down, so it's actually really rough for us here to get a response unless we promote our other deoxys and um, hit our last escape board, which is just so savage. My attachment of the skateboard was wrong. It was only wrong because we drew the deoxys after, but like in theory, this shouldn't have been played. We were doing it to improve, to draw more cards off Lily, but it probably should have gone here. I'm basically learning this deck in front of you guys. So we have to play towards our last one. That's a ridiculous let loose. Never punished. Junior Mines 12, thanks so much for following, dude. That's awesome. Welcome to the team. My evening has been spent doing one Nuzlocke things. Yes, 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 yes. After after render and upload two videos a day for the next week, if I want to get them all done before my computer's here. Mm. Oh, pogs. Promoted the marshal though, so he wasn't expecting to hit a guard. But if he doesn't hit a guard, doesn't he just lose? Let's do what we did and try to high roll the turn. I think he could have done it as well. He drew 10 cards this turn. We really need to draw energy or supporter off the top. Say it and it will come true. That's ridiculous. This has been the least deserving of wins. If we win. I mean, there is the potential pitfall of a Lycanroc coming down. It sounds like a pretty big pitfall. <clears throat> we do have our stretcher in hand to get Necroz man for a prismatic bossy burst. Incredible. Lycan rock garbador. What a combo. Is he gonna try and deal with a Mali here? Is he gonna try and deal with the Deoxys? He shouldn't be threatened by the Deoxys. Well, he's going to take it anyway. 
Dumbbells. Holy. What's our best way of navigating this now? I think if we just put this down and black gray. No, sorry, if we print that. It's probably best to, to use the Martelet to do it, actually. Yeah. Set up the black gray. Come on, I'm going to go. Or is it better to black red first? We keep the energies on the board and then force him to get the garb up. Garb comes in, swings, he goes to two, we KO the garb back, we go to two. Then his Lycan Rock is unusable as an attacker. So if we just do the uh, the marshy boy GX attack this turn, I think it's correct. Or we can just power blast as well, that's an option. Keep our GX attack slot open for finishing him off without Guzma. Uh, we do lose an energy. That's what I was kind of annoyed about doing with the thing. I think we just do 100. Force him to deal with this, with a garb. Or just attached to the lichen rock? Question mark. Hmm. BDCGO. BDCGO. Right, I know you're in your last game, and because I've got to render these videos, I'm actually going to call it there and head off because it's super hard to time the audio right whilst listening to you as well. So, um, cheers everyone for joining, and I'll chat to you tomorrow, Joe. There'll be a Nuzlocke yeah. episode go up for you all at midnight tonight UK time because I love you all. Um, we're starting to get into the spicy stages of the Nuzlocke as well. Some. Some real chilly heat wave Doritos are on the way. Unreal. So, yeah, enjoy that. And, yeah, I'll chat to you a bit later, Joe. See you, mate. Cheers, everyone. Bye. I feel like I should have charged Ooh. either to Martial Art or, to, or Malabar with a skateboard for retreat. If you power blast and power blast next turn with this. I was. Uh... By us keeping the energy on. We basically forced him to deal with it this turn, or sorry, last turn, and he didn't. So now we just, like, can't lose, basically, right? I mean, can't is a strong word, but... I feel like we're never in trouble now. Set up a casual checkmate. See what we can do about it. Save my GX for Moon's Eclipse. I mean, we're always going to be ahead. So that was never a thing to save it for. I don't think mine was wrong, particularly. Like, just down to the amount of attackers he had on his board.
Power Blast into Power Blast. But we're never unhappy if he doesn't if he KOs our sorry, if he can't KO our Marshadow, we always win. Right? We just straight up always win. So the only way he kills our Marshadow is if he attacks with Garbodor. And that causes him to pay retreat, which means his Lycanroc is no longer a viable attacker. And his Garbodor goes down, guaranteed, on board from the Deoxys. So just keeping the Marshadow with all the energies on it meant that we could do, in this case that, we, that did happen, where he didn't get knocked out, we could then attack, attack. If we had done the uh, Prismatic, we would have had to pay retreat. Prismatic with the other Deoxys, then that stuck active. We'd probably be charging up the Marshadow on the bench anyway, and sure, we probably wouldn't lose, but I think it was better in the good case and the bad case if we did it our way around. The last hand was a Lycanroc DC. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Cheers for the game, though. That's fun. You want a pack? Okay. Before we go, let's open a pack. We've got some locked packs. You can have three locked packs. Incredible. Burning Shadows, what do you want? I don't know anymore. A Guardi. A Pod. An Azuril. A Zoomarill. Oh, who's been playing Pokemon Go today, boys? My goodness. I've caught... Three Chimchars and three Turtwigs, but only one Piplup, because one's run from me today. Fuming. It's been pretty fun, though. Gen 4, pretty cool. Got myself some Starlies and Bidoofs as well. Oh my god, five Breakpoint Pats. I actually can't be bothered, because they're useless. Expanded Lull. Ta -da! Oh, we did ask for a Glissapod. Wrong one, though. Anyway, that's me it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. On Monday, there'll be a bit more sort of structure to the testing because I'll probably over this weekend will have made a decision on what I want to be playing and I'll be testing that stuff. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to try my best to try and trade for those Sogaleos and see how that goes. I might go ahead and buy some codes for those. Um, to get them. Oh, those are the old ones. But anyway, um, yeah, cheers for watching, and we'll see you soon.